So I'm here trying to restore and reset an iMac 2013. Um, I've deleted the partition through the disk utility and reinstalled Mac OS X and then it just rebooted and now it's going to try and install it but you'll see I get this error. So if you reset the hard drive and then you get this error, what you want to do is you want to hold down the option and then left click with your mouse on your Wi-Fi because as you see it will automatically uh, join it. So when you do that, as you can see, it shows now a new option. It says disconnect. So you click that and you turn it off and then you go utilities, date, change the date to 01, 05, 15, and then can put 2017 so now as you can see it changed it to 2017 then restart and now we shouldn't automatically connect to that Wi-Fi and make sure you're not connected to Ethernet either otherwise it's going to change that date right back and then it's going to do this This damn iMac, I had the same issue with a MacBook where the date was wrong and I had to change it to the correct date. And now with this iMac, it is the correct date and I need to change it to a date when the certification was valid for this year iMac. I think this is a 2013 and I'm trying to boot it off of an external SSD. And can you guys believe it? I'm fine, as you can see, it's not connected. Finally getting a new screen. Finally. It's finally letting me do it. So that first drive was my SSD, as you can see installing it on my external the internal is a 500 gig that's super slow I get the wheel of death almost every time I click so I'm hoping this time it's gonna go through I am actually stoked because now this screen isn't going away and the error is not popping up and the bar is actually moving and the minutes are going down because it wasn't doing this Alrighty, so holding down the option, left clicking with the mouse, um, and then going into terminal and changing the date to 2017 on this El Capitan, and then restarting, it will automatically boot from the installer the drive that the Mac uh, OS X was downloaded on and uh, you will get that screen that I just showed previously and as you can see on the top um, it's not connected anymore to Wi-Fi and finally when I'm disconnected and on an older day uh, it's finally going as you can see the times going down before it would stay at 17 or whatever and I would get the error now it's working and look at that i finally am able to download now is a good time to connect to wi-fi because you are going to 
need it to download any new apps or whatnot. <clears throat> but um, yeah, that's how you get past the, as you can see, don't transfer, enable location, um, don't sign in, um, skip. So that is how you, so Mac, I don't know. I usually call it that. So password. There you go. You're on your way to set your MacBook. Uh, I don't know why I had to set the day back, but now it's going to automatically change the day to the correct. And I'll show you here. I have a 2013 MacBook or iMac actually. So hopefully this video was helpful. Make sure you leave a thumbs up.